I was kind of somewhat of a skeptic from the beginning because the problem with it was kind of exactly this problem with extra dimensions that we were talking about, that this argument that string theory made sense in some, in, in some certain situations, one of, part of the idea was that the strings had to be moving in 10 dimensions. So you couldn't, you, you couldn't develop a consistent theory of strings moving in, four, in three space and one time dimensions. You could, it seems, develop a consistent theory of strings moving around in nine space and one time dimensions. Mm. So you had these 10 dimensions, you had 10 dimensions and, and one argument is, well, great, you know, we've got a kind of like twister theory. You know, okay, we know we've predicted the number of dimensions. The only problem is they're, they're predicting 10 dimensions, which is, and so, so you, you had to kind of explain, well, what about the other six dimensions? Where did they go? And so that, that's where the theory all of a sudden became very complicated because the, the, the idea was that, well, we'll, we'll make the six, well, six dimensions are very, very small, so we can't see them. So four dimensions are going to be big and you're going to be able to see them. Six of them are going to be really, truly microscopic and so small we can't actually see what's going on. And you know, we can write down um, the mathematics and models of, of what these six dimensions do. And then depending on what the six dimensions do, you know, you're, you're going to, the string, you, the strings are going to, are going to, um, you're, you're going to see different particles. And, and, and the hope is that by finding the right choice of some very, very small six dimensional space, you're, we're going to reproduce the standard model and, 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 and at least at low enough energy to get something that looks like the standard model. That was the hope. And the people, Witten and other people who worked in this were very excited about this for at least for, for a few years. But um, to, to me, it was like it, 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 this really, you were kind of telling me that a the, an incredible, incredibly successful theory, you should really throw the whole thing out and start again with a, much, with a theory which the minute you tried to make it look like the real world, you had to make, do some very complicated things with. And I was kind of a skeptic about that. And and I, and, I, and I think properly, I think, I think the, the bottom line now, many decades later is that, you know, initial hopes that there were only a very small number of things you could do to make the six dimensions work that were consistent. Now it looks like there's a, just a huge number of possibilities of what you could do with six dimensions and, and you can pretty much get anything you want out of it. So, you know, you can make, you can make a theory of everything, but it, it, it doesn't predict anything because depending on, it says that everything you see is going to depend on what the six dimensions do and what they look like. And they could do almost anything. It's, it, it really, it, it really doesn't work. It really is a failed theory. And it's, um, I think the thing, the reason I wrote this book was 20 years ago. And, and to this day, I'm just kind of shocked that how hard it is to get people to admit that this, this really just doesn't work. And this is just not a, this is just not viable and, yeah. and, and for, 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 for quite clear reasons. Just to expand on that, Wolfgang Pauli used to say some theories are wrong and some <laughs> theories are not even wrong. You have said string theory is not even wrong. What do you mean by that? Why is string theory not even wrong? Well, I mean, <laughs> one thing I should say, well, let me say this later. First, so, 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 so not even wrong is, yeah, so it was kind of Pauli's phrase that, uh, you know, so, he, he, he was, he was known to, he, he was heard. Actually, there, there, there's very interesting. I, I've really gone back into the, into the history, trying to figure out, did he really say this? And when, when did he say this? And what was it about? And it, it's a really interesting story. I mean, all the evidence is yet, yes, he really did say this, but people are not clear exactly when he said this or about what, or about who or about what, yeah. but he, he was known for like, he was kind of really pretty irascible and kind of a bit difficult to deal with. And, and so he was known for in a, seminar like shouting at people that no you know that's wrong that's just wrong and but then the story was that there that there he was asked about some particular thing and or maybe it some one story says somebody was asking about it another story was it was in a seminar but but he, he was in, in some in some context suddenly just shook his head and said oh that one that one's not even wrong <laughs> and, and and you can you can take this as being kind of really obnoxiously oh well that's so bad it's not even at the level of being wrong or a bit more charitably you can say that you know, there are lots of ideas that, you know, as theorists, we, we work with, when you start thinking about an idea, a, a good example of my, uh, is, is that the ideas I'm, I'm playing with with twisters. I mean, these are also not even wrong at this point. There, there's no way to, they aren't fully developed enough to say, you know, this is exactly what they, 
what they are, are going to tell you and, and either this is right or wrong. So, so not even wrong. It can just mean in another context, this is, well, it, it's just a, a still unde- undeveloped idea, which, um, you know, so, so, and, and it's, it's at the point where you just can't tell whether it's wrong, wrong or not. And so that's the more charitable one. And, and I, I should say that over the years, my thinking about string theory has evolved. And when I wrote the book, I was being more charitable say, well, this is, not even wrong. It's not fully developed, but I, I think the less of the last twenty years of seeing what's happened is that this just doesn't work, and and now it, it's just wrong. I mean, it, it's just not. <laughs> <laughs> I think actually, not even wrong may not even be the right word for is really not the word for string. <laughs> it's just a wrong, a failed idea, and that's all there is to it. 